Day winner. The top five Banjo Kazooie characters. Okay. 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 So. There. Uh, number five. Jinjos. These guys are really cool and stuff. Jinjos and stuff. But so they come in all these like different colors and stuff. Like there's purple and gray and all that stuff. And they're just really cool characters overall. They don't really have much development, unlike all the other characters that we know from the game. The other characters have way more development. Like, I feel like they could add, like, if they do make another Banjo game, they could add some more development to these characters. I feel like what they did in Nuts and Bolts was that, with them was kind of bad. But I feel like they were too basic in the other games, so they should have added something else. So now, on to the next one. Number four, um, Klongo. So Klongo, he is, you know, Klongo. He's, he's, uh, if you didn't know, if you haven't played the games, this is actually a not true fact. This is a fact my uncle told me when I was like six when I first played the game that he was part of the Ninja Turtles and he quit. Which I'm not sure if that's true because the creators of Ninja Turtles have nothing to do with the Ninja Turtles. So I don't think this is true. If anybody here has any evidence that this is true, please tell me. Because I kind of want to know. Now on to the next one. Actually, no. I love this character. This character is one of my favorites. But I didn't put, like, Grunty in this list either. But also this list is in no particular order. Now on to the next. Number four, um, Klongo. So Klongo, he is, you know, Klongo. He's, he's, uh, if you didn't know, if you haven't played the games, this is actually a not true fact. This is a fact my uncle told me when I was like six when I first played the game, that he was part of the Ninja Turtles and he quit. Which, I'm not sure if that's true, because the creators of Ninja Turtles have nothing to do with the Ninja Turtles. So I don't think this is true. If anybody here has any evidence that this is true, please tell me. Because I kind of want to know. Now on to the next one. Actually, no, I love this character. This character is one of my favorites. But I didn't put, like, Grunty in this list, either. But also, this list is in no particular order. Now on to the next. Number three. We're doing like a character that a lot of you guys most likely know if you've played Banjo and Kazooie. Banjo himself. So if you know Banjo, you know he's a bear. And he's cool. And he's like everybody's best friend. But Banjo is not just a bear. He also has his friend Kazooie. Who may or may not be on this list. But basically, yeah. So, he's a really cool character. He, like, has, like, a bunch of games he's in. So, he's in Banjo Pilot. He's in Banjo Grunty's Revenge. He's in all of them. He's, like, the only character that's in all of them. And in Grunty's Revenge, near the beginning, you don't actually meet Kazooie till like, the second or third level out of the five levels in the game, which requires you to get Kazooie and backtrack to make other things easier, even though you could already be the entire game with just Banjo. That's actually true, if you are wondering, that's true. There's some speedrun videos. Now I'm to Also, 
the best move that you can use with Kazooie is called the Talon Trot. Um, depending on each version that you use, the button combination is different. Um, it's in the second game, if you notice, and so you can actually use Kazooie as like a gun of sorts in that game, but it's kind of hard in those parts. But in one part, uh, so Bottles dies in that game. He dies. If you didn't know, Bottles just kind of dies. But Bottles, he dies. So then Jam Jars comes to replace him. But don't worry, Bottles does come back. It's a kid's game, so we can't have anybody permanently die because it's a kid's game. So basically, the kid's game. So basically, it, you can so he says, uh, like, he says, like, use Kazooie as a handheld gun or something for the move. But, like, in the Xbox version, none of the buttons match, which kind of makes me, like, uh, laugh because it's funny. You know, but now we are on to the honorable mention section, even though we only have one honorable. Number one is Mumbo. Mumbo is my favorite character in Magic City because I actually have a dong game, Mumbo. That's how much I love the character. I used to, like, always, like, I broke my skull open because I was pretending to be Mumbo at one of my old preschools. I banged my head on the, um, on the, uh, on, like, this thing. I think it was a chair, and then I got my skull, like, broke open, and, uh, go if you're, like, scared of, like, blood and gore, because I'm saying some pretty dark stuff here, so I was, like, uh, there was blood gushing out of my head, uh, literal blood, they had to get a new carpet, in fact, I remember me crying because there was no, because I missed the old carpet, but they kept repeating that it was stained in blood, and they couldn't use it anymore, but, Mumbo, he's a really cool character. He transforms you into creatures in the game. I don't know why he does this, but it's kind of cool. If you're like, if you agree, it's really cool that he could do that. And, like, in the first game, he turns you into, like, an ant and, like, a walrus. The walrus is my favorite. Obey the walrus. If you aren't already obeying the walrus, you should be. Obey the walrus. Don't search that up on YouTube. It's actually a really creepy video. Don't watch it. It's scary. Oh, uh, so basically that's the end of the video. So bye. Mumbo's the best character in Banjo-Kazooie. Even though this list is in no particular order. Besides this one is the best one. Bye.